Hello there friends and followers, and welcome to this X-Plan 11 video. We are currently situated at Key West International Airport in the state of Florida in the United States. Today we're going to be taking a look at X-Camera version 2.4. X-Camera is by far the very best camera system available for X-Plane 11. It was developed by Stick and Rudder Studios and the new version brings a brand new user interface which significantly improves the user experience and the ease of use. Please note that this will not be a tutorial video of X Camera. I have created many tutorials in the past and links to those tutorials will be provided in the description section of the video. We will begin by enabling X Camera. And now X camera is enabled and we're going to bring up the control panel. Now this is the new control panel and immediately you will see that this is a major improvement over the previous uh, version of X camera where everything was cluttered and the user interface was, uh, you know, pretty much legacy. It kind of it had the X plane 10 look and feel. But if you come here and click on solid background, now look at that. Now that is a very clean, crisp, sharp, and concise control panel. Uh, kind of next gen, uh, if you ask me. Yeah, it, it does uh, kind of blend with the um, x 11 user interface. The information and the layout of the information is done in a very logical way. Sometimes counterintuitive in my view in some areas but overall a major improvement over the previous version, both in terms of the look and feel and the user experience. So um, let's take a quick tour of where things are in this version. Uh, the file here, you can create um, the aircraft camera file. You can save, restore, display the view ID assignments that you've made. You can share the camera file with the community or browse the available community aircraft files or you can close the control panel. Uh, as you can see here, you have the category window and here you have the camera uh, window. This is, by the way, the registered version. Uh, so if you don't have, uh, you can still uh, get X camera for free and use it, but you will not be able to save your presets. Track IR has been moved now into its own panel here. Uh, if you are using Track IR, you'll be able to set up the um, exact position and the limits uh, right here. And this is the uh, movement increment settings uh, for X-Plane. Now let me explain this because I think, um, I really like this feature and it, it, by the way, most of the features uh, are still from the previous version of, of, this, uh, of this tool. But the way it's been laid out in this version makes it a lot more accessible, easier to use. Um, so here, for example, if, uh, if I start panning the camera, as you can see, the movement of the camera is not bad. You know, it's not too fast and it's not too slow. Now, if you go to small, then it would require more effort moving your mouse to actually move the camera. And if you uh, select large, then it becomes really, really fast. So uh, almost unusable. So I'm just going to put this back to medium and look for the cockpit. Uh, let's see, where is it? Where is the aircraft? There is the aircraft. All right, so we need to go that way. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so we can do this and then we can just go straight back into the cockpit and go here. By the way, I use X camera for all my videos. I use it faithful, faithfully. I've been using it um, ever since it came out. Um, I think it's, it's one of the best um, tools for x 11. Um, okay, so uh, what things have changed in this version? Now, if you recall in the previous version, um, the interface used to look very cluttered because all the options were kind of like in the view uh, and you had to select what you wanted. Now, the most um, used features are available here in this panel, but if you want to um, show the advanced camera options, then you can simply click here. And now you have all the options uh, that are, you know, they were still available in the previous version, but now laid out in a much nicer way, um, easier on the eye, I would say, um, and laid out. Now, the layout itself is, is um, 
maybe better grouping would make sense. Uh, so if we had like a panel here and then transitions would be, for example, in one panel um, and then, you know, the rest can be in another panel just to kind of group things and, and make it, you know, easier. Uh, but it's still okay, in my view, uh, the way it's set up here. Uh, now you can en enable the smooth transition here. We're going to enable that and we're going to keep retain mouse look position. I always like to keep these two options here um, because it allows me to pan through with the mouse wheel without having to reset. So if I remove retain mouse look, uh, as you can see now, if I release the mouse wheel, it's going to reset to that last known position. Uh, of of the mouse uh, where you where you left it, so we're going to say retain again mouse look position, and we're going to say save, and now one of the nice things also in this feature again the feature was available in the previous version but I think it has been um, grouped in a drop down menu where you can select the head shake plugin that you'd like to use, uh, for example head shake this is the free plugin by SimCoders. XP Realistic and Real View, which is the one I use. So I'm going to select Real View. And then, of course, you have the Lua script as well. So since I'm using Real View, uh, we're going to select Real View here. But we have to also make sure that we go to Real View here and go to Settings and make sure that um, X Camera Mode is selected here. All right. So now it's working, uh, X camera is working with the real view. And what we can do now is we can uh, create a, a couple of camera views just to show you how this has changed from, from the previous version. So if we go here on the cockpit, this is the pilot view. This is the first view here. Uh, now we want to create another view. You simply click on camera and then click on add new camera to end. As you can see now, we have a new camera view created here. To change, to rename the, uh, the camera uh, title or label, you just right click and you come here and then you can say, uh, let's call it, um, let's see, first officer. All right, and we're gonna say okay. And now we're gonna move the view to the first officer side right here and we're gonna say save camera. Now, as you can see, I can move between uh, pilot view and first officer, and I have the uh, enable smooth transitions so that it doesn't abruptly change the view. So if I remove enable smooth transitions and I say save, now if I move um, between, as you can see now, it kind of abruptly moved there. I can remove it from this one as well. Uh, let me move it from here. So you can see the effect. Okay, so now you can see there is an abrupt movement. And if we enable smooth transition again, uh, it should bring that effect back. You can also control the time. So let's say that you want the transition time in seconds to be a bit slower. You just double click here, let's say 0 0.5. And we're gonna say save. And we're gonna go here and we're gonna do the same. We're gonna click on uh, 0 0.5 and save and now you'll have a slower transition between the two views in order to create a category a new category let's say you want to create um, external view you can simply click on category and say add new category to end and now in the same manner you can switch now between the category and the cockpit uh, views so if, if we click here, again, right click, you can change the category name. We're going to call this um, external. And we're going to say OK. And the first camera, we're just going to call it um, external view. And we're going to click OK. And now we can set this to an external camera. So we're going to click here on enable external camera. Now we use our um, assignments here to move the camera. And maybe this is, let's see. Um, by the way, this is also how I create my cinematics, uh, in case you guys are wondering. I think this is a nice view here. We'll leave it there. And now we can save all changes. 
Now, of course, for those of you who are unfamiliar with X camera, you can assign uh, multiple um, uh, joystick or keyboard buttons to control the camera, uh, airport cameras, um, all sort of things uh, can be mapped to either the keyboard uh, or your joystick. I have a combination of both. So now we can go from the cockpit to the external view and within each category you can cycle through the views that you have created. Uh, just very quickly, um, I have mapped a few joystick buttons, so I can actually, I'm using my joystick button uh, to move the camera, and then I can also cycle through the category um, from the external to the cockpit categories, uh, also using uh, joystick assignments. Okay, uh, one last thing I want to show you, uh, we're going to go to the external view, and I'm going to remove the control panel completely. All right, and I'm going to enable now through a joystick, uh, beg your pardon, through a keyboard button mapping the walk around feature. And now if I move, as you can see, this is how I create my cinematics and create different views and kind of pan slowly around the camera. Uh, very, very useful feature if you like to create cinematics. Um, this is exactly how it's done, and it works in exa exactly the same way um, as the previous version of X Camera. Well, folks, this is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this video. I hope that this was an informative and useful video. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.